Hello, dear viewers. Welcome back to Saving Often. We have a very special episode today, beginning King's Quest 1, Quest for the Crown. I am joined, as always, by David. I'm here! And our dear friend, Suha. Hello! So happy to be here. Uh, we've alluded to Suha numerous times on the channel just because she is the biggest King's Quest head we know, apart from ourselves. Um, <laughs> yes. We Obviously, King's Quest is a very, very important series to adventure games. Um, if you're watching this channel, I'm sure you know what it is. You may even be rolling your eyes that we're playing it, but, but damn it, we're going to play it because it's important. I have a lot of memories. I know David does. I absolutely know Suha does. So... <laughs> Um, we are going to start from the beginning, and uh, we intend to get all the way through the series. Um, yes. Even King's Quest IV, or better. I thought you were going to say even course. eight. Oh. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to do Mask of Eternity, right, Rick? I'm not telling Suha that, but yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's, uh, let's just get down with this introduction, shall we? Let's see where King's oh, yeah. Quest begins. You are Sir Graham, the bravest and most honorable knight in the troubled realm of Daventry. King Edward the Benevolent, aged ruler of Daventry, has summoned you to the castle for reasons unknown. Greetings, Sir Graham. The king is expecting you. Allow me to escort you to his majesty's throne room. Thank you, Sir Knight. That's my Graham impression. <laughs> Raise the portcullis! I am at your service, my king. I am an old man, Sir Graham, perhaps too old to carry the weight of this crown. My bones ache, my hands tremble. I'm afraid my time on earth grows short. But enough about me. Great misfortunes have befallen Daventry since the loss years ago of three magical treasures. I have chosen you, the finest knight in all of Daventry, to search for these lost treasures. Only then can this kingdom be restored to its former glory. And only then may I rest with the knowledge that my people are safe. The first treasure is a magic mirror that foretells the future. Looks like this. <laughs> The second is a magical shield that protects the bearer from all mortal harm. Beaming this image directly into your brain. The third and student. last is an enchanted chest that is forever filled with gold. Really causes massive inflation. I know that what I ask is difficult, nay, perhaps impossible. The dangers are many. But you are brave and pure of heart. That is why I chose you to volunteer. Wait, that's not what volunteer means. <laughs> <laughs> if you succeed, you will inherit my crown and will rule the realm of Daventry as her rightful king. Go, Sir Graham, and know that the fate of Daventry lies in your hands. Take heart, my king. I shall not fail you. All right, <laughs> that's King's Quest One, everybody. Good job. Oh, we get portcullis noise. We yeah. do. We get uh, MT32 emulation. Only the finest here on this channel. Um, I'm yeah, going to be honest. First. I don't remember a lot about this game. <laughs> Yeah, like um, I think that you know this is probably going to be more similar to the Space Quest playthroughs that Rick did uh, on his channel at the start. And so far as that, we are familiar um, with this game, although I think there's enough distance that we're going to um, be showing our asses a little bit. We're going to be some fake King's Quest fans, um, and you're all <laughs> going to have to bear with us. Yeah, now, and... I did not remember the moat monsters just being so visible, like right from the gate. Uh, yeah. Is that are. like a? <laughs> no, they are. It... That's they're there, and uh, that's going to lead us to our first save here. 
Mm -hmm. We're going to call this save gramfull.wave. Why, you oh, ask? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the moat monsters appreciate your good taste. Wonderful. I want to take this opportunity uh, to highlight that we are playing the uh, Sierra Creative Interpreter version of King's Quest One, as opposed to the um, much more ancient and blocky original. Um, this is sometimes colloquial called um, King's Quest One VGA, although I think that technically this is, these are not VGA graphics. No, this is not VGA. This is, uh, as you said, Sierra Creative Interpreter. This is King's Quest One SCI. There is mm -hmm. a King's Quest One VGA, which is the fan made remake by Tierra slash AGDI. Um, in my personal humble opinion this is my favorite version of king's quest one i think this gives you all the benefits of the later sierra games while still maintaining the charm of the early sierra games um so and this is the one that i remember the most as well this is the one that i can recall my dad playing and letting me press the enter button whenever he'd type something Aww. in oh that's so really is that the, was that the rock you needed to push back there i forget Yes, it is. I'm trying to explore a little bit, build up some tension. <laughs> Jesus, but fine, we'll, you guys we'll push the way rock. More than I do, my God. <clears throat> fine, we'll push the rock. This can't possibly go wrong. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Moving rock rolls downhill and right into you—a crushing defeat. Are you happy, David? I've, I've never yes. seen that death. Thank you. <laughs> okay, so this is actually the version I'm not used to. So the reason I was asking about the moat monsters because I I really am wondering if if this is like. Did they kind of pump them up a little bit in this version? Yeah, because the yeah. original like mo monsters were just crocodiles in the original. Okay, thank yeah. you. So I'm not Ooh. crazy. So you're not familiar with this one, Suha? No, like this looks amazing. Like the one I played and the one I watched our friend Dave play, not this. So this is like a new experience for me. Good. It looks great. The small shove, you managed to push the rock a few feet, revealing a shallow hole underneath. What's in the <laughs> hole, Rick? Well, apparently Graham. Um, <laughs> God, fine. Look in hole. Oh, there's a dagger in the hole. Look okay. The Can you get in hole? <laughs> Reach the hole and grasp the dagger, being careful not to cut yourself. Get in hole. You won't be needing that on your quest, Sir Graham. Well, <laughs> damn. No. <laughs> oh god my favorite monkey island <laughs> quote of all time uh, there's nothing left in the hole but dirt so we are carrying and you and me well time to get stabbing Ooh, look at it it's a very fine silver dagger with a very sharp edge okay and see this is also why i don't remember those icons either when he was explaining to you mm -hmm. yeah um like with this the, the Sierra Creative Interpreter SCI versions of games like uh, with this they have a lot of like specific things like the the game the original version does not halt when you start typing um, so this gives you is a lot more forgiving when you need to do like timed events oh yeah like wow. if you notice if I start typing the animation stops whereas in the original AGI games the parser was mm. just always at the bottom of the screen so okay. I believe this was the first or at least one of the first SCI titles because Sierra always used King's Quest as its flagship for, um, oop, there we go. Ooh, suddenly you hear the heavy footfalls of an ogre. He stomps into the clearing, spots you, and decides to crush the life out of you. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Stab him, stab him. <laughs> the ogre is itching <laughs> to take you in his itching. powerful arms and crush your bones. Ooh, Did I feel like it was going to go somewhere else? <laughs> Itching, aching to take you in his powerful arms and kiss you senseless. <laughs> kiss you or senseless. crush your bones, I mean. I think that would still be like a, a King's Quest death. <laughs> <laughs> potato, potato. Uh, Alright, cool. Stab Ogre. N no. Okay. <laughs> um, use Dagger on Ogre? Attempting to bring harm to the Ogre will do no good. He has a very thick skin and a very short temper. Well, if uh -oh. he's gonna fucking kill you anyway, we, we curse on this, right? <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Got him. 
you were warned ogre and ogre oh. again. <laughs> that sprite looks amazing. Yeah. Though, although it's kind of giving me Boogeyman from King's Quest Seven, which I really don't like. Yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> so look it? at his fucking six pack and titties. Yeah, yeah mm, look he's at built. Like, just for like, you. Ripped up and dead, King Graham. <laughs> is he dead or is he like about to uh, be dead? <laughs> well, we have to restore, so we can uh, infer this does not go well. This is not the canon path for yeah. King Graham. His shirt was actually ripped off, revealing his stellar pecs. But what you see on his sprite is blood. He's he's bleeding out. <laughs> oh. All right. Well, <laughs> once once again, and get you gotta get that dagger all over again, Rick. Yes. And for a game called Saving Often, you've only saved... I'm sorry, not a game, a show. You've only <laughs> saved once. Okay, so listen. We just came off of Kathy Rain, a game that is very non-lethal, and I never had to save during, except whenever we were ending a session. So I am out of practice as far as saving <laughs> often. We'll go ahead and take that dagger. We're going to um, save... As I was saving before we uh, got ogred... Um, as you were saving... Uh, like, uh, the King's... Like King's Quest always served as like the technological showcase for Sierra products. So this is, mm -hmm. it was either this one or King's Quest Four that was the first um, SCI game. Yeah, but you'll you'll notice that there are a lot of similarities in the game engine with uh, King's Quest Four because that was that was technically the first King's Quest game that used the SCI engine to the point where they mm -hmm. even had an AGI version of the game that had a mm -hmm. very short shelf life before they released the updated version. So it's very. I mean, rare. nobody wants that like you know ratty old AGI version. If you don't got you don't have an old computer, do you? We were at a cottage in shambles. It saddens wow. you to think that somebody might still live there. Look at that cottage. That's so fucking rude. <laughs> Can you believe someone lives in this dump? <laughs> well, it's really on, you know, the socioeconomics of Daventry to that this has happened like this. These people are suffering uh, because Edward's like sleeping at the steering wheel here. For how many years? Take <laughs> Take X, take X. So, so this is another thing that I really love about this generation of Sierra games. If you look at the colors, like just in the cottage, just what they were able to do with dithering by having like, you know, alternating colors on these boards, oh, yeah. it gives the appearance of like much more texture and more color, even though they had a limitation of like 16 colors. Um, it really is beautiful, this game. I feel like it X. looks better than I remember like three and four looking. It definitely looks better than 3. 3 was still AGI, but 4 was using this interpreter, so I wouldn't be surprised if this came after 4 and they had learned a thing or two about it. Mm, I don't know for that sure. Makes sense. Um, the handle of the axe has been broken and repaired. The head shows the shine. The head shows the signs of many sharpenings. Tightly wedge in the tree stump. Cannot remove it no matter what I do. Take I take handle. the handle. <laughs> okay. It's just for show, guys. These games love putting useful shit like axes in front of you and not letting you take it. Uh huh. I think also the SCI engine has a has a, a nice feature where you can right click to look instead of having to type look necessarily. You can. Uh, the woodcutter speaks to you, his voice broken with sorrow. We would welcome you to our home, Sir Knight, but we have had no food for so long. My beautiful wife cannot even rise from her bed. I fear she may die soon. Aww. What were you saying you don't have to do? Uh, after this. The woodcutter, still holding his wife's hand and gazing at her pale face, does not seem to hear you. So these games had early mouse support. Um... So oh. the, the mouse was not yet a household object. Um, so this was like, you know, a, a, a technological marvel. But you had okay. a pointer. And in the SCI games, you can actually left click to move around instead of using the arrow keys. And if you mm -hmm. right click, you will look. Nice. OK, that's cool. The woodcutter sits on the edge of the bed next to his wife. Ever since the woods became too dangerous to venture into, he has not been able to learn to earn a decent living. It sure is a nice fiddle you got there. <laughs> you uh, you gonna use it or? <laughs> the woodcutter's most treasured possession, a fine old fiddle, lies on the table. Eh, take it. You should not <laughs> steal from these poor people, Sir Graham. But they're going I, I, to die anyway. <laughs> I'm sure that's meant to be from these poor people, but I prefer to read it as these poor people. <laughs> <laughs> 
the director in me was like, no, 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 no. Emphasis on the people. <laughs> uh, look at cabinet. Cupboard. If there was something of value in there, the woodcutter and his wife would not be starving to death. <laughs> you should pity woodcutter. <laughs> I don't think the, the verbs are that responsive, unfortunately. An old earthenware pitcher sits on the table. Put hand in fire. <laughs> wow, okay. Try to find another word for pity. Please. No fun. Ah, uh, it won't let me do it. <laughs> you won't be needing that on your adventure, Graham. The fact that he permanently wedged his axe in the stump, I mean... I mean, that's part of why they're not making any money. They can't earn yeah. that bread. It probably <laughs> doesn't even work. <laughs> that's why it sounds kind of shady. It, like, these these poor people and their um, their pumps, they, they, they can't keep these things functional. The rusty pump doesn't work. Man, King Edward's let this place go to shit. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, snake. The huge snake is watching you very closely, and its intentions are less than friendly. Oh, but it looks so friendly. <laughs> Can you, like, walk underneath it? That doesn't even bother us. How are its intentions less than friendly when it's all the way up there? Oh, man, it follows so me, though. It mm -hmm. does. <laughs> Keeping an eye on you. I mean, it would be a lot more concerning if, uh, you know, it was in biting range. Also, man, this one is so fast compared to the old. Oh, oh, oh time to fucking save off it, Rick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is, uh, th this is, this was nightmare fuel for young Rick. Um, oh, yeah. I, I, I had nightmares about this building, yes. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, like, don't you like the gingerbread children? They, they must have, they're handcrafted. You should eat one. You should eat one. <laughs> That's really gross. As you knock on the candy cane door, a squeaky voice from inside the house says, Who is there? I love visitors, especially young, tender ones. Come in. Come in. What could possibly go wrong? You got to take a bite of a, a child first. Look at gingerbread. The whole house is made of gingerbread. Okay, so this is where the cursor comes in handy. Yeah. Uh, the path to the front door is lined with little gingerbread boys and girls. Eat gingerbread. Gingerbread house with its frosting looks tempting, but you need to get closer. Oh, are they not going to let you do it? <laughs> eat gingerbread boy. As you begin to eat the house, a squeaky voice from somewhere says, Nibble, nibble, little mouse. Who is nibbling at my house? Yeah. It's like eat gingerbread boy. You don't know how long they've uh. been standing there. Eating them probably wouldn't be a wise thing to do. That's why it wouldn't be wise, because they might be stale. Yeah, <laughs> but the house, no problem. I mean, uh, look at the frosting that's keeping it moist. Yeah. Let's, <laughs> let's go on inside. Rats! She has cast some spell to keep you from escaping. The witch remarks, Oh, how nice of you to come for dinner! <laughs> now, Rick, it clearly says cackle, cackle. <laughs> <laughs> Was there a demon in that smoke? Okay, voice director Suha. <laughs> 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 she looks you over carefully, then states, You're a little too scrawny for my appetite, but I think you're going to make a lovely dessert. <gasps> Oh my god. The witch has turned you into a gingerbread man. Or is that a graham cracker? God, no wonder you were scared of this. That shit would have scared the shit out of me as a kid. <laughs> no. Just seeing it's... Graham's permanent scream <laughs> as he's yeah. brought out in cookie form. <laughs> it wouldn't be a Sierra title without some childhood trauma. Oh yeah, and I had plenty. Uh, <laughs> but when I played one... It was very brief, and it was not this version, and I'm not sure if I got to the gingerbread house or not. Three was the only one of these I ever made much headway in. Ah, that gave me two points. I knew well, that I had lost some points. What happens if you keep eating? Ah, let's find out. But yeah, I, I didn't know that there were points just for doing that. Uh, same hey, thing. Hey, you know, you'd think after a certain point she'd be like, puffing out here house. again. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like any other King's Quest would do that. 
Oh, is that Candy King? Can you like... The path to the gingerbread house is lined with the biggest, most tempting candy canes you've ever seen. Well, now we gotta lick one. You cannot get the candy canes. They're wedged in there too hard, like axe hard. <laughs> as good as it looks, you're just a little bit suspicious about where all that candy came from. What do you mean where all that candy came <laughs> from? Like, wh what is the suspicion? <laughs> so candy Suha like that just doesn't happen. Suha, you enchanted you, you dicks, clearly. <laughs> <laughs> You, you remarked earlier how much faster this game is. Um, these yes. games had like a sliding scale of speed. So with my plus and minus yeah. keys, I can control the speed. That oh, the did game you runs. set it? Then? I, yeah. I, I set it oh, a okay. little bit higher. So as I tap the enter key, you can see that I'm like incrementally getting faster. Oh, yeah. Games no, like I was... this benefit oh, from being a little zippy. No, they do. Yeah. I just was shocked that the intro was fast. And so I thought... Wow, they finally got it, uh, and they started him off at a good speed. But no. Yeah, so the, the intro I actually couldn't control, so you were right. Um, oh, okay, they did do that then. But so, so this is the normal walking speed, and when I play SCI games, I usually bump it up two notches. So Yeah, no, I, what you had was perfect. Yeah, that's where I am playing. Snake's still there? Yeah. Hmm? Lovely wildflowers grow profusely in this beautiful green meadow. Can't even stop them. Pick wildflower. Pick flower. It would be a shame to pick the lovely wildflowers. Yeah. This is before Graham was a... He, this is before he was a true adventure game protagonist, so he's not just taking everything that's... Harming little yellow butterfly. I hate when they put animals that are very conspicuous, but you know they don't want you to interact with them. It always oh, What the f- <laughs> oh. As you start to cross the bridge, a huge hulking troll stomps into view and blocks your way. Look at him. Talk to troll. Well, what have we got here? You think you're gonna cross my bridge, do you? Not for free, you ain't. <laughs> that masterful accent work. <laughs> Uh, look at troll. He's the ugliest, meanest, nastiest troll you've ever seen. We don't even know him. Uh, but he's not about to let anybody cross his bridge. How many uh, trolls does Graham know? Troll. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. The way he just, just put in his... Wow. And he's not even killing you. He's just like... He's just shoving you back. That's kind of amazing. <laughs> Bite troll. The troll is bigger than you, stronger than you, and much, much meaner than you. Better not even try it. That's mercy. Like, I'm honestly shocked. Yeah, I I, I fully <laughs> expected it to just be like the ogre animation of him pummeling the shit out of me. I just I... thought he'd like shove you over the side. <clears throat> That's pretty amazing. Oh. <laughs> well, I guess I didn't, I didn't even do anything that time. It was, it was all on you, Graham. <laughs> Although you try to swim, the current is too strong. He should laugh like the King's Quest Seven troll does. <laughs> yeah, um, this, like, I don't know if this troll is meant to be the same kind of trolls as we see in Seven. I don't think they had that kind of like connective foresight, but um, I like to think, like, the the, the fan in, in person in me <laughs> wants to think that this is the same species. Of course, I'm sure Roberto was thinking that far in advance. Oh yeah, obviously. Just like she obviously intended for the Black Cloak Society to be mm -hmm. uh, very expensive, to have like a very satisfying payoff. Well, we'll just use this bridge instead. Motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay. I did not realize he was guarding both of them. Yes, he you Gotta is. pay the toll, Rick. I don't want to pay the wow, toll. Wow, that little he, that little hand motion he did. I missed it. It was like a, be my guest, buddy. When you leave. I swear to God, I tell you, he did it. Like, <laughs> it was weird. <laughs> I didn't imagine it. Well, if he did do it, I have it on the recording. And if that's the case, I'll edit it out to make you look crazy. <laughs> like a true friend would. <laughs> uh, this is a charming little wooded area of the forest. Pine trees and lush grass grow in the especially rich soil here. What is that flower? 
I thought it was a mushroom. It is a bowl, oh. actually. Oh. At object, look at ground. So how am I supposed to know that's a bowl? Look at uh, thing. Look at... You can use you your don't right have a mouse, you're shit out of luck. But what if I don't have a mouse? Exactly. There appears to be some sort of bowl on the ground. Fine, take bowl. You really should examine that bowl, Rick. A ceramic bowl. Look at bowl. Inscribed on the inside of this empty ceramic bowl is the word Phil. But who's oh. Phil? <laughs> you could put some water in it, maybe. To your astonishment, oh. <laughs> something begins to bubble up from the bottom of the bowl. Within moments, the bowl is filled with a hot, savory stew. Did you just write Phil? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not like say it, Phil? It, it, is, it is like uh, speak friend and enter sort of a solution. Yeah. You eat every bite of the delicious stew. Uh, you should eat that in front of the peasants. <laughs> I lost, lost two them? points for eating it. And then I get them back for filling it again. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, yeah, you really should eat it in front of them. <laughs> <laughs> for now, see, it amazes me that you don't save on every screen, because in these games, literally, like, it, it takes two seconds for you to die. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, especially, like, on a modern computer. Yeah. Um, it would, like, when I played this game the first time, like, in the mid-90s, um, like, my computer was too fast, and you... Especially like with the original one, if you just bump it up one notch, it like is unplayably fast. Oh, you know, I thought I thought you were gonna say that the speed was normal, and I I was like, well, that's weird because when I played as a kid, I remember you would just die immediately. Like it was always so yeah. quick. So no, it was the yeah. same. <laughs> See, what you two don't understand is that I'm a pro gamer, so I don't die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very good. Look in window. When you look in the window, you see a poor, starving woodcutter and his wife. Shame. <laughs> God, I could go for some more stew right now. <laughs> they're so poor. <laughs> oh, Sir Knight, you have returned. But I fear that my wife grows weaker still for lack of food. You know, all this talk of food makes me hungry. Do it. Eat it right in front of them. <laughs> right in front of them. <laughs> it would be terribly wow. cruel to eat in front of these poor starving people. Your conscience prevents you from being so inconsistent. See, Graham is a good guy. <laughs> 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 I'm not sure if I should be disappointed or not. <laughs> well, not gonna oh, give, oh not bless gonna you, Rick. <laughs> I was going to tell you to go outside, and I thought, no. <laughs> no, Suha, just like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to give him an empty bowl with the remnants of the stew. <laughs> Still... <laughs> Sir Knight, an empty bowl will not help us now. Oh good, I... he had to smell the stew remnants and everything. <laughs> you, you got him, you showed him. All right. The woodcutter is overwhelmed with joy. Look at his face, that joy right there. Yeah, such exuberance. <laughs> thank you, thank you, Sir Knight. We shall never forget your kindness and generosity. There you go. Here comes the airplane. Here goes the airplane. <laughs> <laughs> Please take my fiddle as a small token of our thanks. I, I I gave you food. I gave you life, and you give me a shitty fiddle. Fine. Pickle. Pickle. <laughs> I feel like the the thing here for me is that they don't know that that bowl is magical, as far as I can tell. So what they did was trade their prized possession for a single bowl of food. <laughs> yes, I, for some Campbell's <laughs> junkie. <laughs> yeah. We can only hope that um, Graham explained the magical properties off screen. <laughs> the woodcutter sits on the edge of the bed. Done that. Talk to woodcutter. Thank you, Sir Knight. Talk to wife. Please leave. Take to woman. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> The woodcutter's wife is too polite to speak with her mouth full. <laughs> All right, well, we now have a fiddle. Do you think they'd have the nerve to get bored of beef stew? <laughs> <laughs> After a while. Please, my wife desires some cheesecake. <laughs> 
rocks lie along the edge of the lake, adding to the quiet serenity of the area. It looks like there's something on the rock, but it's probably just moss. Yeah. It's a problem with these decorative touches. <laughs> you mm -hmm. can't tell. All right, so... Wait, can you take the fish? Uh... The fish would do you no good except to attract the attention of every cat in the kingdom. I guess that's a fucking no. <laughs> well, that's going to be very important to you later on, King Graham. <laughs> Stumps. Ooh, holes to put your hand in. You're not close enough to see into the log. I'm right there. I think it's you, thinking you're wanting to look in the other one. You peer into the darkness inside the log, but there's nothing at all inside. Put your hand. Log. Hmm. Search. Next to you is a fallen old tree trunk. An old fallen tree trunk. It's crumbling and rotted and holds no interest for you unless you have a fascination with termites. In the stump. Inside the rotting stump, you notice Ooh. a small leather pouch. As you lift the pouch from the stump, you feel its contents shifting inside. You're holding a plain leather pouch. Cautiously, you open the pouch and see many sparkling and flashing diamonds. Quickly, you close it again so as not to lose any. It's just that easy, folks. <laughs> you know, you, you know, it's time to do. <laughs> What's that? It's time to save often. You're really going to enjoy having me along <laughs> for eight of these. <laughs> for eight of these? Does that imply that we are playing Mask of Eternity? No, I was counting um, one of the, AGD, the AGI <laughs> remix. Nice AGI, save. AGI. <laughs> Small pleasant waterfall pours into a crystal clear lake. Peaceful little lake fed by a nearby waterfall. Oh boy. Well. <sighs> this asshole. Got his little legs. <laughs> They're quite long. Yeah. yeah. Guard guard this bridge, buddy. Yeah, oh, you can't. he huh. This is this oh. is not the in the area that he's <laughs> oh. guarding. I'm just surprised I thought that he was on all the bridges. I didn't realize. So, um, west of us is a bridge, here's a bridge, so he's probably, there's probably like one screen to the west of us that he guards. What is that like? There was something appearing on the edge of the screen. It was like to the, oh, it's, I think oh, it's the cursor. It, it's the yeah. mouse cursor, yeah. <clears throat> it turns into a crown for the weight cursor. Now, uh, the mouse cursor can kill Graham like everything else in this world, but... It can. How? Uh, by uh, making Graham walk into things that are dangerous. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> now, how much of this do you remember, Rick? Uh, I remember highlights. I remember certain okay. screens. I remember certain events, but I don't remember every puzzle. There he is. There's, There's our boy. Gate. Do we have to like give him something? Yes. What do we have? We don't and have what we need. The goat. Okay, you that's. You can try. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we should probably close the gate so he doesn't get out then. Oh no! <laughs> the goat has escaped from the gate that you left open behind you. He could have wandered anywhere by now. Still a well, better goat puzzle than Broken Sword. <laughs> <laughs> so is that a fail state? Yes. Awesome. We fit our first dead end. <laughs> you know, it's funny because this exact thing happened on Real Housewives of Dubai a couple weeks ago. Now, now technically, um, it's not technically a fail state, but you're just going to lose out significantly on points. Interesting that it's not technically a fail state. I mean, like morally, like spiritually, it's a fail state. No, I know. I, I that, <laughs> we'll, we'll have to talk about that in more detail later. What are the I nice things put about the like goddamn goat? All right. I'm sorry, David. Continue. 
one of the things I do appreciate about King's Quest One is that it does have uh, multiple solutions to a couple puzzles. Um, usually, uh, one solution is going to net you more points overall. Oh, cool. Okay. <laughs> Another thing that I really like about the SEI version of the Sierra games is that you can repeat things you've already typed in um, you, you versus AGI where you have to manually. Oh, no, yeah. You, you can do it there, too. You just have to press the F3 key. Oh, well, then I've been doing it wrong for two decades. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it works in this one if I press F3 or if I press the space bar. I just am in the habit of pressing the space bar. Uh, actually, yeah. Yeah, if you start typing, then it'll type anything else. But if you hit spacebar, it'll go back to what you had before. But in the nice. AGI games, you can press F3. Um, and I think that's even... Yeah, it's even up here, retype. You can duck? Yeah, it's uh, actually important. <laughs> huh. <laughs> <laughs> can you make him do it quickly? Or is it just once? There we go! <laughs> yes, King Graham can teabag. What the fuck was that on the left <laughs> yeah, side well... of the screen? <laughs> This, that's not even what, I, what that's so you can you know level up your leg stats because we know <laughs> we know that graham is jacked like he's got a six pack but you know leg day is still important to maintain an unusual clover glistens in the middle of the patch i did not realize that's what those were that's two points a four leaf clover you are holding a large four leaf clover God, I, I don't know if I ever found one as a kid. <laughs> oh my God! And you could wow. Now, can you jump into a duck? No, if I if I try to jump while I'm ducking, I'm too busy. Uh, yeah, you can't crouch jump into the vents. Like we're not Gordon Freeman here. <laughs> this is incredible. <laughs> All right, gotta maintain that ass. <laughs> Listen, Graham doesn't have rock hard glutes by just adventuring alone. Mm -mm. It's a lot of work. <laughs> Want to do that forever now? This is amazing. Yeah. You should do it a little bit, uh, just periodically, just to keep it <laughs> just just shape. to make sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wandering along the banks of a beautiful lake, you see a cute little elf. Talk to elf. You'd get closer. Mm -mm. You should get closer. I should save my game. Mm -hmm. The elf is impressed by your friendliness and responds by handing you an elegant little ring. Oh my god, I thought he was going to rob you. <laughs> I've had my eye on you, Sir Graham. Methinks you might enjoy this little trinket. For just a wee bit of time, it has the power to make you invisible. May it give you as much entertainment as he has given me this day. With that, the elf as vanishes. As ye has given me. As ye has mm. given me. Incredible. Now, like, um, if we want to get racist here, usually it's the gnomes in uh, King's Quest <laughs> games that want to rob you. <laughs> like that. Your hand tingles slightly as you look at this jeweled ring. Uh, Didn't realize Lord of the Rings was also up for, uh, <laughs> <laughs> for, for robbery here by Ms. Roberta. Place the shimmering ring upon your finger. Oh. Hmm? Did it give you a pointer? Huh. Do you have to like say something? As you oh, rub okay. the shimmering ring, you turn invisible. All right, cool. Now nobody will ever see me again for the rest of the game. <laughs> I totally believe it has a finite charge on it. Well, not with that attitude. You can't use it for the rest <laughs> of the game. Can we use it to cross the bridge? Wow, it's really given you quite a bit of... Uh, you are already invisible. On doing it. Now, it's been a while, but, like, what is it, the Nazgul or whatever, or, like, the Eye of Sauron? Like, does everybody see you when you're doing this? Or... <laughs> is that what great... Oh. It's all done? I restored. Oh, okay, okay. Brick borders Ooh, well a well garden. Garden's important. 
at crops. Look at flowers. A patch oh, of pretty flowers. flowers has been planted near the garden just for decoration. Take flower. You cannot get the flower. Uh, you cannot get ye flask, as they say. <laughs> I might be conflating that with a different screen, but I do think there's a crop there that you need. Well, can we go around the other side? or What the f- Aha! Here she comes. Gentle Sir Graham, I am your fairy godmother. Your quest is indeed noble. What little aid I can offer you is this protective magic spell, effective but a little while. I shall be watching over you, Sir Graham. This is time to save. Yeah, seriously. We are definitely. Yeah, we've got a limited timer here to make the maximal use of this protective spell. Yes. What 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 is it used for? Uh, we I think ideally want to get over to the witch's house. That's what I was thinking as well. Shit, where's the witch's house? <laughs> <laughs> it's this way. This is the castle, so the witch's house is probably this way. Graham, run? No, of course not. Does she come on other screens? Because, like, I feel there, like there's a bunch of randomized events uh, in King's Quest 1. So I think that there are areas that she is inclined to spawn at. Um, and I think that near the garden is one of them. Because part of me feels like if if she comes somewhere else, perhaps it would be better to allow her to come somewhere else. Because, like, how much time have we even... Uh, Here we go. Oh, okay, good. And run out just as we get inside. Yeah. You nibble nibbled already, right? Yes. Oh my god, she's not even here. In contrast to its delightful exterior, the inside of the gingerbread house looks dark and ominous. You should get into the pot while you're protected. <laughs> Sitting on the shelf is a delicious piece of Swiss cheese. Cheese. Mmm. Those cabinets. You could they... use that to recharge a wand. You should have um, left it open so she'd know you were here. <laughs> Get in pot. You won't be needing that on your quest. Just drink. Taste. Drink pot. Potion? Pot. Cauldron? The pot is hot enough to burn your hand. The fire must okay, have there been is burning a monster. for a long time. Yes, there is. Smoke monster. Look at table. Plain wooden bedside table. It looks like there's a note lying on top of it. Take note. <laughs> Con shopping. <laughs> <laughs> Grab the note from the table. Read note. There's a message written on the note. Sometimes it is wise to think backwards. Wow, that's such a great hint. And you definitely know what it's talking about. <laughs> you should sleep in the bed. <laughs> I mean, it's a good fairy tale thing to do, right? in bed you wouldn't want to sleep on a witch's bed i would with a protective spell <laughs> well i guess that was everything in the house wait open the door again maybe see if she'll be home this time oh, damn just keep going and coming i think you need to um wait inside the house oh maybe yeah this is a sort of Mordak situation, if I remember correctly. Just, like, hang out in the bedroom. Oh, yeah, I do remember that. Can you, like, wait? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, no, no. You're gonna, you're just going to have to hang out here. Unless I'm wrong, and this is just, like... <laughs> no, I feel like I remember something kind of like that. I definitely remember that. Um, you can also try just uh, accelerating the speed of the game to see if that helps. I don't know if that accelerates the cycles, though. I feel like that Sierra's like um, programming was shoddy enough that, that that might be a factor. You best be careful, young Graham. The mystic protective spell oh. of mine has weakened and departed. Maybe we should reload in the house. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> I wonder if I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I definitely remember being in this house when the witch shows up. But I don't think she's coming. It, it might be a thing where we just did not get the RNG for her to show up properly. All right, let's go back to a save game. I not okay I guess we won't go that way should we like just keep nibbling on the gingerbread or whatever <laughs> to like see if she's home I think that you can check to see if she's there by knocking or nibbling yeah yeah I mean if she's not home we can eat all the gingerbread we want mm -hmm. yeah wait well, wait she, really. she doesn't really stop you Do you think an HOA would have issues with people nibbling on gingerbread houses? Most assuredly. <laughs> that's why they don't allow gingerbread houses. Oh, that's the reason. Yeah. Tracked the wrong crowd. Yum, the house tastes even better than it looks. Uh, she does appear to be absent right now. Ah, now she's inside. Be thankful that you have a protective spell, or the witch may have stuck around to try and catch you. Cabinet, take cheese. I'll leave it open now so she knows. Take note. Note. I don't have to use the ring in here, do I? I don't think this is the optimal use for the ring. Like my recollection is that she's going to be distracted with her cauldron um, when she enters here. Yeah, and then you push her in, right? Yeah, it's, you got to go full Hansel Gretel here. Yeah. Roberta Williams was very clear on her points of inspiration. Well, but the fact as... that you scared her off probably means that she's not going to come back. Oh, that's yeah. why she's not coming back. Okay, David. I don't know. Like, there could be any number of reasons why I'm <laughs> wrong. No, hold on. I could have sworn. Do we? Do we really not get to push her in? No, you absolutely do. I think that both Rick and I remember. <laughs> Never mind. Nope. I think you have like, to exit this screen for the, the RNG yeah. to reset. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. How nice of you to come for dinner, cackle, cackle. She works fast. I love the way she carries him out. I was going to say, as per tradition, uh, the one time I looked down at my phone... Uh, the witch appeared and did something, and I looked at that, and I saw the end of it. <laughs> oh, as always. Um, so, oh God, so I guess, are we just going to try to have her appear while we're protected? After we wait inside? Yeah, I guess I'm just going to, since she's not in here now. Hang guess, on. What? Do you just not need this? And then you wait in the, the house and you come push her? Like, is basically, the, killing the witch is optional. Like, basically, the spell, to my recollection, just guarantees that you can get in here safely. Okay. 
the the spell will also protect you against the random like murder wolves and wizards around Daventry. Hmm. Although I think that those were more minimized in this version. Here we uh, go. Off in the distance, you hear a high squeaky voice say, "I can smell someone tasty in my house." Well, according to you, we're not tasty. Now, is that, I assume that the wall is complete, right? Yes. Okay. I am going to get my cauldron ready to cook someone for dinner. Yum. The witch mumbles, After I get the cauldron nice and hot, I will be ready to have someone for dinner. Giggle. Bush witch. <laughs> Here we go. With a mighty shove, you courageously push the wicked witch into the pot. Her wild screams are suddenly cut off as she melts away into the oily green slime in the pot. Congratulations for committing <laughs> murder. Yeah, that's honestly pretty horrifying. Oh my god, and it spilled over the side. Jesus, gross. Uh -huh. Yeah. What a horrifying death. So we got points for that. Did we? Yeah, we get a did, seven whole points for killing the witch. Did we get points for um, the fairy attacking us? Uh, I'm sorry, the fairies, you know, the witch attacking us and the fairies thing. I forget if we get that. I um, don't think so, no. Okay. Oh, look at those speed demon baby <laughs> birds up there. That, that is <laughs> what it's <laughs> like. <laughs> I mean, as a mom, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the right tree, Rick. Can't climb that tree. All right, so we have cheese. It's extremely fragrant. Ooh. But it's Swiss, though. Eh. Yeah, that's true. Can I interest you in some cheese? Mm -hmm. Wait, what has he told you uh, that he wants exactly? He wants, like, you know, cash dollars here. But, okay. you know, I know, I think we would lose some points if we uh, solved this that way. Wow, he knows. Even though you are invisible, the troll can sense your presence and will not allow you to cross his bridge. That's not the solution. As the troll pushes you back, your ring slips off your finger into the raging river below. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to do but uh, go after it. <laughs> Dive. Wow. Oh, unfortunately, drowning <laughs> in the river is taking up all your attention. The way you, like, just diagonally fell in was honestly <laughs> incredible. <laughs> All right, well, it's not the ring. Give cheese to troll. Your skimpy offering skimpy. doesn't impress the troll. Um, okay, so forgive me. If, if I sort of half remember things, do you want them or do you want to just get there? I think we're all half remembering things here, so uh, you're, you're I, free to bring yeah. stuff up. Okay, because I feel like you're supposed to give the woodcutter and his wife, like, gems or money or something. Like, I feel like we're not done with them, and maybe that will give us something? My recollection is that the bowl is the optimal solution to the woodcutter stuff. Um, there's a lot oh. of... Oh! The, 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 the treasures are, like, ways that are tokens you can kind of use to solve a number of puzzles, but okay. um, you, you lose points for giving away treasures. Okay, so then it's... Can we just go back and see what they're up to? <laughs> sure. <laughs> Let me try playing the fiddle, though. Play a lively toe-tapping oh, yeah. tune on the fiddle. The troll is unimpressed. <laughs> Obviously, there are no music lovers here. You put the fiddle away. Okay, well, at least now we know what we need. You should uh, play his own fiddle in front of him. <laughs> really embarrassing. There are no music lovers here. <laughs> Everyone's a critic. The woodcutter speaks with joy in his voice. 
Sir Knight, bless you. Even now, my wife is recovering due to your kindness. The woodcutter and his wife ignore your fiddling. Perhaps they preferred their own music. Wow. <laughs> They're like, oh, Jesus. It was, it was fine. Don't give him any attention. <laughs> you have already given the woodcutter a bowl filled with stew. To help him now, you must hurry and complete your mission. Okay. Big diamonds open pouch. <laughs> okay. So I probably can't take them out of the pouch. No, I don't believe so. I haven't seen the screen with the well since I ran past it. Oh, yeah, that whole thing. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to miss screens. I believe it's near the goat pen. It is. Um... These games really wanted you to map them out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was something that I really didn't like with them as a kid, but something that I appreciate much more as an adult. Mm -hmm. I feel like I liked doing it as a kid as well as an adult. I just didn't like doing it for like catacombs and that kind of thing because they were scary and it was difficult. Also, can you uh, get carrot here? But they didn't say there's vegetables, did they? Oh, this is oh. a well-tended carrot patch. Well, that's not fucking fair. They said flowers on the last <laughs> screen. You pluck a plump orange carrot from the ground. Oh, looks like an Ooh. ordinary carrot. Can you eat a carrot and then get another one? Mmm, <laughs> there's nothing like a crisp, fresh carrot. Oh, Minus two damn. points. <laughs> <laughs> Take carrot. Okay, <laughs> we're fine. I half expected the narrator to say, Graham has already taken a carrot. He wouldn't want <laughs> to steal another one. <laughs> hey. This tree is conspicuous. This is a tree. Climb tree. You can't climb a tree from here, you dope. You nincompoop. You idiot. <laughs> you absolute embarrassment of a human being. <laughs> Finding plenty of footholds in the coarse bark of the tree, you easily clamber up the trunk to the branches above. I mean, how would one even... This is a very... Like, they tried to make this tree very noticeably big relative to all the other ones. <laughs> tree! Tree! Okay, now we've got some good old-fashioned Sierra platforming here. Oh, yeah, your favorite. But I just realized we're going to make you... Whoop! Oh, hey, he's alive. Holy shit. Yeah, we're fine. At nest, there's a perfect shimmering golden egg lying in the nest. You carefully lift the golden egg out of the nest. One of the birds <laughs> may need the nest, but you won't leave it alone. All right, well, we're done here. <laughs> Wouldn't it be awful if the game made you crush the egg? Uh, I was just about that? to say, I better look at the egg. <laughs> You're holding a lovely golden egg. You're holding what was once a lovely golden <laughs> egg. <laughs> but for your hubris. But for your clumsiness, you boob, you moron. <laughs> you absolute tit. <laughs> uh, try going... Keep going west, I think. Well, we can do the goat, right? Yeah, we can uh, do the, the goat now. Ah, there's the there well. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Look at well. The well looks as if it's been here a long time. Jump down. Uh, no, we're going to save. <laughs> Jump down well. Side of the well is crumbling to pieces. Try the other side. Okay. In other words, we don't want to animate this the other way. You've sunk your chances for saving Daventry.
How nice. <laughs> Let's get in bucket. This side. Bram, you, you, it is customary to do it from the north side. <laughs> After you are in the old bucket, your weight causes it to slowly descend. Climb out. No. I think you're going to need to take a more dramatic approach to uh, getting down. Oh, that one. Ah. All right. Now we're going to die. Um, can you still um, get the bucket? Take bucket? It would be easier if the bucket wasn't attached to the rope. Well, good thing you've got uh, a knife with you. Knife on rope. You probably can't do that from down here. Cut rope? You can't cut the rope from here. Climb <laughs> in. Get in bucket. Cut wow, rope. how did you manage to leap out of the whoop? <laughs> <laughs> take bucket. You managed to take the bucket. Very good. Got a bucket. I was getting a little nervous after you saved after diving. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We've been saving often. Look at look at this fine collection of saves that we've amassed so far. <laughs> this is fine. Everything is fine. We're gonna dive. And uh We're gonna open the chest. Look at chest. Chest has been buried here for a long time. Take the chest. This isn't the chest you're looking for. Open chest. Come on. Unlock chest? Oh. There we go. You're no guy brush. <laughs> the one death message I remember from this game. Well, well, well. What are you going to do now? <laughs> <sighs> Couldn't just stop at one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think that chest is a red herring. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. I totally did not think that. <laughs> nope. Oh shit, I thought this was way later. Look at dragon. I mean, it's not linear. Green and scaly, the dragon's body is massive and muscular. A row of serrated armor stretches from the tip of his tail to the base of his neck. His leathery wings are folded tight against his sides, and his webbed claws look sharp and deadly. The ferocious, fire-breathing dragon is protecting the magic mirror. The mirror shimmers with its own magical light. Uh, talk to dragon? Think again. When this dragon talks, things have a tendency to catch fire. Can you go back? Oh, wow. Okay, so it does let you retreat. Look that it opens its mouth every time. It's going to turn the pilot light on, so. <laughs> uh, let's see. Do I need to use the ring for this? A ring. Ring. <laughs> sucker. This is uh, not the optimal solution. Oh, it's not. I thought it was. No, you, can, you can earn some more points here. Stab it. Stab <clears throat> it. Kill dragon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that worked. Oh, my God. With unerring aim, the dagger streaks through the air and pierces the soft, unprotected skin under the dragon's throat. The dragon convulses for a moment and then crashes, lifeless, to the hard cavern floor. Still not the optimal solution. Oh, okay, because I was like, I thought I remembered killing him not being the... Well, damn, what... Do we have anything that can reflect the fire? What have we gotten most recently? The bucket? Oh, it's an empty water bucket. Fucking come on. You Why would this down work? Fill the bucket with the cool water. Throw water. Good shot! The water hits the dragon square in the face, dousing the dragon's fire. Wow, I've never seen... This is crazy. This is, like, so different. Wow. 
Unable to defend itself with anything more than harmless clouds of steam, the dragon rolls aside the granite boulder and slinks off in shame, leaving the mirror behind. Well, this almost Naked. seems like the meanest uh, <laughs> solution, I, doesn't it? I think that killing the dragon was the meanest solution. <laughs> Listen, you know, humiliating it like that in its own home? I don't know. That's gonna That's gonna stick with it. I like that the dragon never assumes that it can just, you know, claw our ass to death. It, the only thing it has is fire. It's honestly very sweet. I feel like we we were in the wrong here. We should have just killed it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's why we call you the Butcher of Daventry. 